Why do you think I didn't go to the OTT Sports Summit in Madrid this week? They had like two or three days of summit in which most of the companies, including a lot of competitors of us, are in Madrid now. Why do you think I, I'm not there? We're having a busy time now, like we're, we're quite busy like these couple of weeks. Uh, it's the end of the year for saying that way because December is going to be dead. Um, people is going to start to tell us like to go um, to talk in January, so do you want to take advantage of these few last weeks before everyone goes on holidays? Yeah, uh, part of it is, is right. Uh, the real reason is because if you want to grow uh, very quickly, a, you know, a, a business or a branch like we are doing now in London, I, I think I need to spend more time with you rather mm -hmm. than going uh, after uh, clients because at the end you are the guys that then talk to the clients and you will be the, the you know the person in front of them. So I'm I'm. Uh, basically decided to not to go to a sport OTT summit because I think if you want to build something big uh, I need to spend time with you or especially with a new team and a completely new structure how much time normally is the cycle they have to see you in average eight times yeah so will the the point here is when you do an ad normally it will take approximately uh, seven, eight times okay. for you to buy a product before before you really, uh, you know, click on the bottom of the ads and then purchase the, the product. Right. So you probably have to see that seven, eight times on Facebook, on YouTube, on Google, etc. before really starting to to buy it. Okay. And I don't know if we told about how how long is it really the process normally from the first time that I see an ad to the moment that I buy, how long is the process? How many days? Do you know that? 22 days on average. And it's, and it's getting longer and longer, okay? So why is important what we are doing is basically because a good job is trying to shorter the term as much as possible. And this is why, you know, Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, Instagram, TikTok are extremely important because they can help you and they can help our clients to reduce the, the, the time frame, the, the window um, to purchase a subscription product, to purchase you know, uh, ticketing, to purchase merchandising or whatever kind of product. Okay, so 22 days. And we, we talk about two main campaigns that are the most effective ones. Um, to generate, you know, uh, leads or revenue. What are the most important campaigns, guys? What we talk the most effective and the the, the cheapest campaigns that you can do on a Facebook. Retargeting and remarketing. No? Yeah, that's that's exactly. So retargeting is one. Retargeting is the most efficient. You have a very low, um, a very low price, and and uh, and there is another one. Remember that we talk about two, the most important two campaigns for your Facebook ads and for your effectiveness are retargeting and doing custom like, oh, yes. custom like segment market. Hmm. Okay, so seg custom like is basically there are two ways of doing that. You can you can take a database of users existing users or you can you can rent for instance a database of users there are many companies that are renting database of users or you already have it you take that and and then you decide and you say to facebook facebook algorithm can you push the, my ads to those guys to these 10,000 20,000 100,000 guys the second thing that can do uh, facebook is you ingested this database into into the um, uh, into Facebook Ads Manager, and you tell Facebook, find me the look-like audience of this database. So basically, the algorithm of Facebook will look like the similar people that are in the, this database, and they will target them with your ads. Those two campaigns are clearly the most effective campaigns today on Facebook. The most effective and the cheapest. Um, how how can you qualify? Because I think one of the the big issue here, but not just here in every companies, is how can you 
qualify better and better a prospect, especially when you start to know the prospect, when you start to talk to them, what are the key elements and why sometimes you have to say no to a client. Okay, let's imagine that we have four areas of our diagram and, and here is, so this is a client case study. So let's think that here that there is a client that um, don't know don't know what he wants, okay? And here a client that really know and has a clear definition of what he really wants, okay? And on this side of the chart, a client that is reasonable in his demand of a service and a client that is extremely picky extremely picky to you know um, to their request okay so let's figure out you know the kind of the kind of prospect and understand when is when is really useful to talk to someone or sometimes when I say no I'm sorry it's you're, you're not you're not my customer you're not my client you're not my target right so when a client doesn't know what he wants but has a reasonable um, demand of a product of a service how do how do we define this client it's a good client so he still doesn't know what what he wants he just doesn't know for instance what kind of subscription model he wants to apply to, to our OTT service. He doesn't know what kind of markets go, go after, but has a reasonable, acceptable, um, let's say, demand of it. Uh, how do you think is, is, is a client like that, Will? Uh, you can educate them. So it's good. Exactly. What I call it, okay client. So you can make some money, okay, with this client. What about a client that exactly know what he wants and has a reasonable, uh, let's say, a very reasonable demand of a product or a service? You can show them. Perfect client. Perfect client, <laughs> guys. And it's called unicorn, right? <laughs> unicorn. <laughs> really? Yeah, so we do a lot of money with this kind of client. This is the perfect line, like Katarina said. Okay. What about a client that doesn't know what to do, but and also is extremely picky uh, with you know their demand. There's no 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 chance to. Okay. It's what I call nightmare client. <laughs> nightmare client. A nightmare client is a client that always demand and and will never be happy never you work with a client for many many times you spend a lot of time with the client but he will be all the time extremely picky all the time complain about everything so in this case a great sales guy knows how to say no to this kind of client to this client we don't want to work with this client Okay, so we need to understand that we can say no to a client. And what about a client that is extremely picky and knows what he wants? If he finds what he wants in, in your product, he will give you money. Yeah, so how would you define considering what we said so far? Annoying client. Kind of Annoying client. Okay, so good one. Yeah, I would say sufficient. Yeah, <laughs> sufficient to start. Okay, it's more money there. Some money, but less than these ones. So this is so this is small exercise. This is very generic, but it gives you an idea. It shows you where you need to focus, you know, or your attention. 
So a good sales guy, how to prospect? I know what I want and a very reasonable, acceptable demand of the offering uh, uh, in the market. Okay. What we have to absolutely avoid is this kind of. You say usually the ones that don't know but are reasonable. Are <coughs> And the ones that knows and are extremely picky. Yeah, exactly. This is why the this is a good question. This is why here is sufficient and here is a okay client and here you see a small dollar and here is a big dollar. Okay. So let's say this is should be our first, it should be our second, and should be our third, and here should be our fourth, but I suggest you never ever talk to any clients that have an extremely picky demand and also doesn't know what he wants. Who has a TikTok account? No, no one? What is a TikTok? TikTok is like a new social media thing. You can share videos and stuff. I heard about it, but... I never? Heard about it, but so, you guys are in the digital space. You need, you need to know, you need to know absolutely TikTok, you need to, to be curious. So the first thing you need to do today is download TikTok app and, and, and start to look at it. I'm not saying that you have to, you know, um, use it every well, single day. Is it Chinese? Day. Mm -hmm. Social media? It's Chinese. Yeah, it's a Chinese, but it's very popular in US and Europe now, especially in UK. Mm. So you guys have to check it out and make sure that you are on top of the latest. Okay, so TikTok is the fast growing um, social media today in the most developing countries. It's growing faster than Instagram. So if you position now in, in TikTok, that is still a very good organic reach, you can do great stuff, you can have a lot of followers. When we talk to a client, you need to understand what is TikTok and you need to understand the powerful of TikTok and you probably already heard myself talking to a client mm. and say, uh, are you on TikTok? The client actually knows more than you and you are 20s and the client that we talked the other day probably is around 40. So guys, you need to know all these things and this is why I'm saying to you, you need to spend a lot of time studying and, and, and you know, power yourself of knowledge, uh, etc. In your opinion, what are the key elements of a successful marketing campaign? We partially talked that last week, so I'd like to understand if you if you store uh, this information with you. What are the key elements of a marketing campaign? The right content and right targeting. Content is always first. Mm -hmm. Second is not targeting. What what is what you need to to have before taking into consideration the, the targeting? The audience, no. No. That's the targeting. What is the second thing that you need to make sure to start with when you do a campaign? What you need to set up? The right strategy. Good. Strategy, okay. but is uh, in, to be more concrete than a strategy. Targeting. That's the second. Mm -hmm. That's the third point. Mm -hmm. After the content, there is a second one. The goal, guys. Okay. Uh, so you need to check the goals that you want to reach with that specific campaign that you want to launch. Okay, what kind of goals do we have when we launch a, um, a campaign, guys? What can, what are the goals that we can have when we launch a campaign? Could be increase the audience, increase the so revenue. engagement, increase audience. What else? Tra traffic. Yeah. Traffic. What else? Revenues. What, what, how do you call the revenues in uh, uh, in advertisement? Income, no. Uh, Conversion. Exactly. What else? <coughs> the thing they usually you do, as I, I think, Download. every day. Hmm? Every day, every single day at work, what do you do? Check, uh, pitching, sales. So, how do you call it? Lead generation. Lead generation. Lead generation campaigns. What else you can reach? Um, as a go down downloads of apps app installs okay so those are the main goals and there are a few ones more but those are the mains uh, that you need to take care of when you start a campaign then uh, yes. you both said properly target is the third is the third area that you need to tackle one is about 
creating a campaign. The fourth, what is it? Going back to the content, what is the main the main thing that attract users to a specific campaign? What you are offering. Yeah, but how you are offering that? With, with what? Social uh, media. With the visual. Okay, visual. Okay. Yeah. So the visual is extremely important. So it's a picture, it's a video, it's an audio. That's the other thing. The the point number four. Point number fifth. After the visual, what is the other thing that is important when you are creating a campaign? Your budget. That's the last thing. <laughs> Mm. So what, when you when you post something, you normally post a video, you normally post a picture, you normally post an audio, and you associate it with what? Copy. The copy. The copy is uh, the other important piece of the question. <laughs> so have a good copywriting can make a lot of difference. And actually, the especially in Facebook. From what I see, the ads that work better are the ones that have a longer copywriting. Okay, so if you just post the copywriting with two lines, generally speaking, work less than if you put 10, 15, 20 lines of copy uh, in the in the ads. And the last point before the budget, what is it? Someone mentioned before, I think that is the distribution, the channel distribution. So, are you going to launch a campaign on Facebook? Are you going to launch a campaign on Instagram? Uh, both on LinkedIn or TikTok or wherever, Google Ads, where are you going to launch it? Okay, so that's about, that's about defining the distribution channel according to your target, according to the goal, according to which kind of visual do you have or do you want to post, right? If it's a video, guys, what is the most effective way today to show your video of a product or a service on social media? Instagram Stories. Correct. Instagram Story is the most effective, most efficient and the highest conversion rate. If it's about uh, an image, what would be the, the best social media? Pinterest post? and Instagram. Yeah. Correct. Pinterest and Instagram are, are the followers. Social media is not easy, and really is not something that you do stuck and you know everything in one second. <coughs> so you, it's it's a lot of work and it changes continuously. So I always suggest to look at it every day, check it out and use, understanding, try, test it. If you if you really want to perform better, how can you define that the campaign ad has been properly successful? What are how do you define that? Why do you say the campaign has been very successful? KPIs. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's so correct. And what are the KPI of an online ads? Um, yeah, that could be the reach, engagement, mm -hmm. shares, likes. Yeah. And what, what is the most important KPI when you do a campaign? The really, the first thing is that, that you look and you see if the results are good if the campaign because when you do a campaign you do re you have to remember that you need to optimize it every single day it's not just you launch a campaign and then mm -hmm. huge months no Isn't it right click through rate the click through rate is is a must and is the most important KPI yeah. that indicate a good campaign performance and the second one is the cost per ads okay a cost per click it depends how you set up the campaign a cost per acquisition uh, those kind of KPI are uh, the second the second part of the puzzle a good campaign is normally between 002 is very very optimistic so it's between <laughs> 003 and 004 a US dollar uh, max 005 that would be zero, a zero. Yeah. That, that what should be your target to, to make sure that it is a good campaign. Is if it between zero zero five and zero zero eight, then you need to start to think what you're doing to optimize the campaign. If it's if it's above zero ten, then you start to have a problem.
mm. and you see hey, there's something wrong here I probably need to change the copy or the video is not relevant for the target mm -hmm. audience that you are, you are targeting, etc. So what, this is why is it very important to optimize the campaign on a daily basis. Okay. When, when, you, when you launch a, uh, you know, a marketing advertising campaign, you don't launch just one campaign. The best, the best campaigns that work are the ones that have you know, a campaign for brand awareness. At the same time, I do a campaigns for conversion. At the same yeah. time, I may do a, conver a, 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 a campaign for engagement. At the same time, I do a campaign for uh, downloads, installments of my apps. So you, you need to do all campaigns all together and have all linked one to another. And all these campaigns then have to be linked to your uh, CRM as well. And the CRM possibly has to be linked to a marketing automation tool and the marketing automation tool what does it does when you because cl clearly the point here is to send the users not to your website where they will never convert but to a proper landing page